Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of Germany for two weeks, Austria for only one weekend because I gave you plenty of Austrian uh, news there. So we have to talk about Germany where it is really more or less between the beach parties of Bayern Munich and the European tussle up top. Uh, relegation still open but looking now almost decided. But uh, before I go into anything, we uh, two things. First of all, the cup final between Salzburg and the Reed was not a 5-0 thrashing. It was only 3-0. <laughs> you can see I really didn't care much about this game. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, I thought it was a 5-0 at first. And then yeah, it turns out it was a 3-0. So beat. And... More happily for me, uh, one of my favorite teams is back in the Bundesliga. Schalke have secured promotion to the Bundesliga. I'm very, very happy about it. I'm already working on the Schalke jersey. Problem with Schalke jerseys is they all have Gazprom on there as a sponsor. Uh, and yeah, that's not something you want to have at this very moment. I didn't want to have it before either. I think this was one of the reasons uh, why I haven't bought a Schalke jersey. So yeah. Gotta see uh, where this is gonna go. But yeah, uh, I would say we'll go very quickly uh, what happened in Austria so that uh, I'll get you up to date there and then we'll go uh, all the way back to uh, the what was happening uh, in the Bundesliga and spend a little bit more time there. Well, uh, in Austria, we had a very, very uh, interesting round in the sense that nothing really happened. Um, the relegation group actually had a true finale in terms of relegation where Alta faced Reed at home, free entry for uh, all the involved, uh, if, you know, for all fans uh, to get the house full. They played better, however, Reed made the goal, uh, made their, their, their goal out of the first chance. Alta can get an equalizer, but it's a little bit too little. Mathematically, they're not down yet because everything else fell their way, but it doesn't look uh, good at this very moment. And the uh, debut of Didi Kuba, yes. Um, while I'm still the jacket that he's our coach, um, I actually got around, yeah, I probably have to. I need to support him and now um, it also got me interested. I wanted to see what was what people saying. How is the first game going? The first game, super entertaining. 3-3. Three, three. However, um, while suddenly we make goals up front, on the back it was still a horror, a horror, a horror show. Last taking the lead three times, twice Nakamura in the first half and then almost within a few minutes you got the equalizer through slapstick defending. Then you in the second half are a little bit more solid on back. You take the lead through a Goiginger goal, uh, like a header on knee height, ducking down. And so uh, all looked fine. You missed the fourth, to make the fourth. Then you concede the equalizer again, a slapstick defending, and then you get the chance to win it all. Penalty in the last minute. And of course, uh, it was Horvath against his former team, stepping up, putting the penalty against the crossbar. So yeah, 3-3. Three, three. Uh, the other games in the championship round, um, you know, the big one is that the Vienna Derby again ended in a draw. This seems to be the standard now. Um, and that Wolfsburg, who actually, uh, remember, they finished second in the, um, in the regular season, more or less. Losing now against Salzburg, I mean, for them, fortunately, Klagenfurt is down, but it's still not quite looking uh, happy for them. Uh, they may be, they most likely will be in the playoffs at the moment, as it stands, is thanks to Salzburg winning the uh, cup, that Rapid will go into the Europa League uh, qual qualifying. Austria Vienna most likely will finish in the fourth uh, spot, but could be with uh, Wolfsburg. So it's still very up to play for. It's very, very tight there. Uh, we'll uh, go into the conference uh, league uh, playoff and then uh, playoff round, so qualification. And then Wolfsburg in the fifth will play the winner of a one-off game between the seventh and the eighth, which is at the moment Tirol and Lask. Altach, as you can see, uh, with two games to play, four points behind that's a tough road that's a tough 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 road uh especially when you consider that in the next round they have to go away to admira Wacker, who have been not that bad uh they have to get something there and they have to hope that lask actually beats reed 
uh, which at the moment, the way Lusk is playing, it's most likely a draw. Well, maybe that could do something as well for the last round. So yeah. And up top, as you see, Rapid has the big downside of having to play Salzburg, but you know, Sturm, Wolfsburg, it is, you know, the one co really competitive game is Klagenfurt, the, 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 the battle of the Austrians. But let's go to Germany. And two weeks ago, um, the reason why I didn't do the video, because we had two Monday games, and then I said, okay, let's um, skip uh, this week for once. And yeah, we had a big duel for the relegation between uh, Bielefeld and Hertha. Greuther Fürth, by the way, pick, picking up points now. Where uh, Bielefeld really tried, tried all, but Hertha was largely a better team, took to lead, but very later on Bielefeld got an equalizer, uh, which also played in the hands of Stuttgart in a way, because uh, Stuttgart also in a must-win game. They find themselves down against Wolfsburg and also have a stoppage time equalizer. So at the point where um, if Stuttgart would have got the point and Bielefeld would have lost, it would have been good for Stuttgart in some way. However, it didn't help anyone any, in any way. What Wald did help though is that Stuttgart with that draw had Hertha still within reach. But it actually uh, primed Hertha to secure uh, their status in the Bundesliga. Köln, this was a fun game, 4-1 uh, away to Augsburg. Uh, underlining their um, um, ambition to play in Europe. An absolute crazy game between Bochum, uh, 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 between Dortmund and Bochum, where Bochum had a 2 0 lead within eight minutes, and Haaland with two penalties and uh, another goal turns it around in the last 10, 10 minutes. Uh, Bochum win it with, again, great goal scored. This was a big one, and that actually secured Bochum uh, the stats in the Bundesliga. Mainz, uh, one of the big winners, I'm wearing them, 3-1 uh, over Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich it was clearly on holiday. I mean, everyone, it, they just won their 10th title in a row. And people are unhappy uh, because the Bayern did not play well. There is a whole lot of trouble. It was a down season for Bayern because they only won the championship. Um, Lewandowski gets a goal, but you know, they played a lot of second string players and then the uh, team kind of said, yeah, for our team building, we go to, uh, was it Ibiza for two days? And that got leaked and yeah, was not, there were no happy uh, signs. I unfortunately didn't see the fun game between Hoffenheim and Freiburg, another 4-3. I did uh, follow the Gladbach 3-1 over Leipzig and Leverkusen 2-0 over Frankfurt, both teams. Leipzig and Frankfurt clearly putting the eggs in the Europa League basket, which for Frankfurt paid off big time because they are in the final, whereas Leipzig is not. Gladbach, though, with that, uh, looking, you know, they were relegation threatened. Now we're going towards the upper half of the table. So after the last week, and just uh, briefly, loads of changes, especially with the Leipzig lost Freiburg uh, uh, suddenly in a Champions League spot, but uh, with rather tough opponents, uh, Union Berlin and Leverkusen coming up. Uh, Köln in six, Union Berlin, it seems like those are the teams that will make it in the Europa League and Europa Conference League. You just have to fig figure out who is going where. Broad midfield on the bottom, Hertha could have with a win uh, secured their survival, but so they were still um, uh, four points ahead of Stuttgart. Kind of dangling there, Bielefeld like, really looking uh, more or less down. And I'm a bit sorry about that because I really wanted to get one of their jerseys. I still can get it, but you know, uh, if I buy a jersey, it should pay off for the background as well. And I'm not sure if Bielefeld will come back, especially after losing 2 1 to Bochum. Uh, Kern's ambitions to go into Europa League also got a little uh, <laughs> muffler in a way. Uh, losing 1-0 at home to Wolfsburg with former last keeper Pavel Perwan pulling up quite a few saves uh, to uh, save that win. Freiburg, big disappointment. 4-1 loss at home to Union Berlin. Union Berlin, now uh, they were in the Conference League. They are doing it one better and probably going to the Europa League uh, next, next season and Dortmund securing the Champions League spot. Leverkusen also 4-2 over Hoffenheim and then Hertha with a big chance. Nope. Losing at home to Mainz, and they are still dangling around because Stuttgart managed a point at Bayern. A Bayern team that only was there to receive uh, the trophy and nothing else. I saw a little bit of uh, Frankfurt against Gladbach, but the Frankfurt said, says, it says, right, this game doesn't matter. Get us the trophy, get us the Europa League. I mean, it sounds better in um, German. Heute ist egal, holt uns den Pokal, more or less. Uh, it's today, doesn't matter. 
although you played against former Frank, uh, former Frankfurt coach who kind of betrayed you a little bit, uh, uh, the Hütter, it didn't matter. It's all about the Europa League final, where they are, as we know, a slight favorites. And Leipzig uses the loss of Freiburg to go up uh, into the top four and looking rather, rather uh, secure there, two points ahead of Freiburg. So, and knowing the Freiburg has to go to Leverkusen, really looking uh, secure there as well. So we have Leverkusen are in the, champ in the Champions League for sure. Leipzig still has to a little bit, uh, but you know, I don't really, really see it. Now, uh, interesting, if we go further, Freiburg probably in the Europa League as Union Berlin and Köln, three teams that you would not have expected. And with Frankfurt now in 12th place, because they are now really putting everything in the Europa League basket, might seem a little bit disappointing, but if they win the Europa League, they're suddenly in the Champions League and we have five German teams in the Champions League and everyone would say Frankfurt is then in pot one. That is going to be fun. On the bottom, you can see the Hertha still not secure. We have to see who they have to play in the last round. Stuttgart is hoping for a miracle, having the better goal difference. So if Hertha loses and Stuttgart win, Stuttgart might secure their spot. Uh, Bielefeld, though... Uh, does not look good at all because goal the difference is not in the favor so Bielefeld will be the other team getting relegated so let's, let's let's look at the final round yeah it is not easy because Dortmund play at home to Hertha and Dortmund really have to show in front of their home crowd that they can can do something but Stuttgart also has not an easy game against Köln a Köln team that might want to go still into um might want to uh, go into Euro Europa League although they have the Conference League already secured uh, uh what else is of interest um leipzig Fre freiburg have to play leverkusen leipzig have to play bielefeld so you can kind of guess where this will be going so those are the battles in the last round and then of course we have the uh, german cup final come up a week later so yeah that was it from me from Germany, mostly. Please let, let me know how you think everything will end up. I have a feeling the table will end up the way it does end up with the potential of Stuttgart uh, catching Hertha Berlin. And uh, whatever it is, that relegation could be quite interesting because, yes, there's Darmstadt in there, but there could, there could be also uh, Hamburg, Bremen, and St. Pauli in there. Although I think Bremen probably will get the second spot going up. So that will be most likely a big name duel. In any case, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will surely talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.